In 2009, James Cameron's Avatar hit theaters and became an instant success. The film not only revolutionized the 3D technology, but became the most financially successful movie worldwide, grossing $2.7 billion. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. Ever since that time, there have been talks regarding follow-up films, and now four sequels are scheduled. We will now give you all the information available regarding the upcoming Avatar sequels. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But first, let us refresh your memories and talk about the original Avatar. In the future, humans have depleted Earth's natural resources. The forest moon Pandora in the Alpha Centauri system seems like the final hope, since its unobtainium could act as a surrogate, which is why the humans intend to mine for it. This, however, leads to a conflict with the Navi, the native inhabitants of Pandora, who are determined to fight against the destruction of their environment. Now those savages are threatening our whole operation. We're on the brink of war and you're supposed to be finding a diplomatic solution. Former US Marine Jake is tasked to make contact with the natives. Thus he is given an artificial Navi body, a so-called avatar, in order to blend in and infiltrate the species from within. During his mission he encounters the young Naitiri, who teaches him about the life and culture of the Navi. Despite pleads, the sinister colonel Miles Quaritch orders a military strike against against the Navi population. During that confrontation, Jake sides with the Navi. You crossed the line. <laughs> and manages to unite all the different tribes in order to successfully defeat the invading armies. At the end of the film, Jake leaves his human body behind and definitely becomes a Navi. This is dangerous. This is great. The sequels. There are four scheduled sequels to Avatar, and each one of them already has an official release date. Part 2 of the franchise is scheduled for December 18th, 2020. Part 3 is set to hit theaters one year later on December 17th. Part 4 will be released on December December 20th of 2024 and part 5 will hit theaters December 19th 2025. Outstanding. The Avatar sequels are budgeted over a billion dollars and production has already begun. Part 2 and 3 will be shot back to back as will part 4 and 5. And action! The cast. Sam Worthington portrayed Jake in Avatar and Zoe Zaldana played Naitiri. These two actors will most definitely return. Sigourney Weaver is also set to reprise her role, as are numerous other cast members of the original film. The most interesting cast announcement though is Stephen Lang. He is confirmed to play the main antagonist in all of the sequels. How exactly they plan on bringing back his character who died in the original remains a mystery. <laughs> Aside from familiar faces of the original, there will be newcomers to the franchise as well, especially multiple younger talents like Jamie Flatters, Britton Dalton and Trinity Bliss. These three are set to portray the children of Jake and Naitiri. The other newcomers are set to play the children of a new Pandora tribe, members of the so-called Metkaina, who are skilled hunters and divers. According to the latest news, Kate Winslet, who already worked with Cameron on Titanic, will be part of at least one of the sequels. Regarding her character, merely the name has been confirmed, Ronel. I hear good things about you. The planned story. Not a lot has been revealed regarding the plot. However, the sequels are set to mostly focus on Jake and Naitiri. We will probably learn more about Jake's life on Pandora and witness how he raises his children. It is possible that a new group of humans will travel to the Alpha Centauri system in search for resources. At least we know that part 2 will introduce the Metkaina, who are highly skilled divers. That makes sense as James Cameron intends to have a huge chunk of the film take place underwater. As an experienced diver who revealed his love for the sea and the abyss and even traveled to Mariana's Trench, the deepest point on Earth, the underwater world of Pandora seems like the right environment for Cameron. And here we go. Moment of truth. Uh oh, that's not good. Since there has not been revealed too much regarding the plot, we will now tell you what we would like to see in the upcoming sequels. Let's dance. We want variety. This could be the biggest challenge for the sequels. After all, the films will continue to deal with the battle between humans and the Navi, which does not exactly sound like a lot of variety. However, if every single film chose to focus on a different aspect of this battle, while simultaneously incorporating the fate of Jake and his family, Avatar would have the chance to become an exciting space epic that touches on different generations. <laughs>
New Worlds, New Tribes. Part 2 of Avatar will explore the ocean of Pandora, but the Alpha Centauri system is huge. The big gas planet Polyphemus that surrounds Pandora offers other moons as well. And these could be inhabited by all kinds of different aliens. The Alpha Centauri system incorporates a bunch of different planets. Four movies are more than enough to explore all kinds of different worlds. Thus James Cameron could turn Avatar into a sci-fi spectacle that explores the entire Alpha Centauri system. Only one question remains. Do the Na'vi know of other inhabitants? And how exactly will a contact look like? Yeah baby, I got this! A visit on Earth? Four new films will very likely introduce several new people from Earth who are desperately trying to get their hands on the Navi's precious resources. But wouldn't it be interesting to return to Earth itself for a change? Maybe Jake could act as an ambassador of the Navi, who visits Earth in order to negotiate some kind of peace accords. That would seem like a nice contrast to the beautiful worlds of Pandora. The dirty and dying Earth could become an interesting place and really drive the point home that it is important to appreciate nature. Oh man, that is just wrong. New villains. It is safe to assume that the situation on Earth will continue to get worse, which is why it is very likely that the establishment of colonies will be needed in addition to the mining practices. Colonies that exist on the planet of the Navi. That could worsen the already shaky relationship between men and Navi. This could be an opportunity to develop merciless enemies for the upcoming sequels. Look at all that cheddar. <laughs> For example, soulless generals who fight the armies of the Navi, cold-blooded industrials who continue to build more settlements, and backstabbing traders who could try to infiltrate the Navi. The possibilities are endless and Cameron could be inspired by the history of the American settlers and their behavior towards the Native Americans. Haven't gotten lost in the woods, have you? What would you like to see in an Avatar sequel? What do you expect from these films? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more cool content, check out these videos.